This week, I want more money. Hi, happy Monday. And speaking of Monday, this is the day we must rise and grind. Two words that slowly start to lose meaning as I stand inside this cold prison week after week. And it got me thinking, what is a way that I can sit here, do absolutely nothing, and get filthy, disgustingly rich? Well, lucky for you, I've come back with a new lesson, or a group of lessons, should I say, coming from our favorite app, TikTok. You see, ever since the game stock phenomenon happened a couple weeks ago and everyone was suddenly a stock expert, it has ushered in loads of people who are on TikTok to tell you how to become rich and successful. So I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's start with the basics to learn what stocks are and how we'll use them to become rich and famous. So if you ever wonder how people have nice houses and okay. nice cars, well, it's because, because they, they invest have. their money. So right off the bat, I was already debunked off something that I thought for the longest time. A nice house, a nice car doesn't come from inherited wealth, doesn't come from a nice fancy job, comes from investing. But what I struggle to figure out is what is investing? You know, I get the words thrown around stock, investments. I'm sure we're gonna learn right here. So you can also invest your money if you buy a stock. So I'm gonna show you how that works. So first thing is open up a broker account and this account lets you buy stocks. Once you open your account, you can search up any company that you want to buy. So you can buy one piece of Starbucks for $77. Step one, open your account. Step two, buy stocks. Uh, Starbucks is something that she, you can buy one piece of Starbucks for 70 odd dollars. And I also have a full tutorial on my YouTube channel. Oh, and she has a full tutorial under the name uh, Sarah Finance. She sells a, a course. She's gonna teach us how to do these things. Stock market course, $99, but it is on sale for over 50% off. So uh, you can get free Bitcoin, free $25 of stock. She's giving out money to us, guys. With one TikTok, I realized that you don't need to have a job. You don't need money from other people. You have to invest. And if you follow these kind of people, they'll just hand you money. But I know what you're thinking. How are you falling for the easiest trap of all time? I'm not. I do realize that she is selling a course and that might be a way she might make a little bit of money. So I think I'm smart enough to say that step three on our little chart here should be Welcome to Nick is Not Poor, the number one course to make your wallet just soar. My name is Nick Invest. When I was four years old, I decided to invest in Bitcoin. It was basically nothing at all. I just wanted to help out a friend. I felt bad for them. Now I'm worth $135 billion. So after sending money to at Nick is Not Green on Venmo, I repeat at Nick is Not Green on Venmo, you'll be able to watch the rest of this course so you can learn how to be just like me. Filthy rich, you'll learn how to be filthy rich. By the way, most of these videos I found off just looking at hashtag stocks on TikTok, but there are a few videos, including this one that came from this Twitter account called TikTok Investors. So this is a couple named Chad and Jenny who ended up taking this TikTok down because I think um, the IRS might've been after them for giving away too many secrets, you know. I think people were making too much money based off this TikTok, so they ended up uh, shutting the whole thing down. But luckily, I have a sneak peek for you here today. By the way, the Burt's Bees from last week uh, did not work, so we moved on to Aquaphor, and so far, a massive success, so not a sponsor. This couple lives a somewhat luxurious lifestyle, and because of that, someone asked their TikTok account, how do you earn money while traveling? So how do we make money from home? For starters, this is not a sponsored video. We just get this question all the time, and honestly, the answer is really simple. So basically, I just trade stocks on an app called Robinhood, which I left a link in our bio if you want to check it out. It's free to download, free to sign up. They actually give you a free stock, so they're paying you not, to sign not up. Sponsored. Um, but again, not sponsored. Okay. Oh, okay, I know cool. trading sounds intimidating. Here's my strategy in a nutshell. Okay, strategy's about to begin. Let's, uh, let's get this thing going. I see a stock going up, and I buy it. And I just watch it until it stops going up and then I sell it and I do that over and over and it pays for our whole lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That makes, that makes sense. Okay. Um, um if you're wondering how much you can make doing this, in this month, I turned about 400 into 14,000. And honestly, my favorite part about this isn't even the amount of money you can make, but just the fact that we don't have to go to a nine to five job. Yeah, we can focus on things that we actually enjoy doing. So is the reason that two thirds of the country is living paycheck to paycheck because they aren't selling stocks? I just, I'm a little, I'm a little confused because this seems very, seems really easy. Like it seems almost too easy. Look at his little shrug at the beginning of this. So how do we make money from home? For starters, this is- So basically I see a stock going up and I buy it. And every single time it keeps going up without a doubt. And then I wait and it always flattens out. It never, there's never an immediate drop. 
so I'll sell it at the top. And then, lifestyle, baby. And they saved a couple comments down here. Let's see what people are saying. Yes, yes. Hubby started day trading and we made literally $50,000 in one day in our Roth IRA. I have Robin Hood, but it's like reading Chinese to me. I, I totally agree. I have no idea what's going on. So let's see where this goes. Oh, we get a little more simple, a, a little more simple of a description right here. Up equals good, down equals bad. I just ride the upward trends and when they start going down, jump off LOL. Penny stock recommendations needed. Cheapest one I do is Dogecoin. Ride the spikes up, then sell when it starts going down. This guy's a renaissance man. Never seen anyone like it. Okay, let's move on to this one. Many of you have been asking how I became a teenage millionaire. Cool camera work. Day trading, Forex trading, okay. He sells, he resells shoes, that's interesting. And you get a hockey, a little hockey rink in your basement. And that TikTok got me thinking because a lot of people are throwing the word day trader around. I'm day trading, I'm making money off day trading. And, and it made me think, maybe this is something I gotta get into. So I, I think one of our next steps is gonna be to, what does this say? 1% uh, one, 1 of all day traders can profit. Oh, I'm, I'm sure that's not an actual study or anything. I think it just happened to pop up behind me. So we're just gonna get rid of that. If we can follow the three steps that this teenage millionaire took, uh, day trading, selling, sell shoes, and Forex trading, then we can, um, we'll, we'll uh, there's an interesting little tidbit here too. DM my Instagram to purchase course. So, I mean, it's not just, it's not just the big three, but you know, dude, the transitions are so cool, man. Wow. I'm finding myself very confident that his parents have nothing to do with this uh, empty house he's living in with no one else. So we got the basics down. Sell a course, day trade, foreskins, you know, all, all the good stuff. And I'm following the path that the people are taking, but so far I haven't taken the advice from the experts. So let's jump into what we should be trading and how we should be making that money. Way to become Ooh, a millionaire? Easy, yeah. Know yeah, yeah. the 50-20-30 rule. The 50-20-30 okay. rule is a budgeting tactic. 50% of your income goes to your expenses and cost of living. Like my house and my car? Exactly. 20% goes to your wants, like Starbucks that we always talk about. You know it, Boom. you know it. 30% goes to a high okay. yield savings account or investments. So this doesn't even have anything to do with day trading or stocks. This is so easy. You simply just have to not spend your money. You see, if you only use half of your money to spend on the things you actually need, then all of a sudden you, wait, what is this? I'm sure this is like an actual study about uh, the the outcome of Americans during COVID-19 and how no, no one has uh, money to pay for their basic needs. And even outside of COVID-19, 50% of Americans usually are living paycheck to paycheck and have no room to save money or even spend on Starbucks in the first place. But it really just is as uh, easy as not spending all your money because usually I just have loads of cash sitting around and I'm like, what do I what do I do with it? You know, I keep accidentally spending it on, on my rent. I keep accidentally spending it on my groceries. But guys, you're supposed to be saving that. Here's the power of being 16 years old and working. Yes, you can be a multimillionaire starting now. If you're 16 and you're watching this, I'm about to change your life because you can be a multimillionaire by the time you're 40 years old. And by multi, I mean two. You'll have $2 million. As a teen, you're probably making somewhere around $12 an hour. It's not true. I uh, made, I think, about $6 an hour after taxes were taken out when I started working at 16. Working around 25 hours a week, so every two weeks you make $600. Didn't work 25 hours a week. Uh, they, they rarely schedule you that often. And you're in a fortunate position where you don't have any debt or bills right now. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Guys, uh, it's not only do you have to be living in a state where you're making $12 an hour, not tax not included, they got to be scheduling you for, let's say, a five hour shift five days out of the week as a 16 year old. And you have to be in the ultra fortunate position that only 20% of Americans are in where they're not in any debt at all. And here's something a lot of entrepreneurs do that most people aren't willing to do. They okay, but here's the secret. This is probably what I'm missing. They say, I don't need these $600, so I will save $400 of these and $200 I will use for myself to buy clothes, buy food or whatever. And of those $400 you save, put 200 of those in a cash savings account and the other 200 in the stock market. You guys know that classic phrase that you're always saying, I don't need this $600? Yeah. Uh, 
he he's got you right here. That's the secret that people aren't thinking about. And for 40 years, you are a multi-millionaire. Follow for more and keep me updated. I'm sure he really wants us to keep him updated. <laughs> he's sitting at his phone. Come on, man. I'm not getting any updates. Are my followers doing okay? Come on, man. So I think we've learned some things in the past few minutes. Okay, what happened? What happened? Okay, fifty dollars of Tesla. Oh my gosh, she's gonna. Wait, well, how much money? Millions? Five million? Six million? Okay, only a few hours later, fifty-six. Okay. Okay, she made ten dollars. Oh, it's gonna be like a huge. Oh wait, nope. Nope, that was it. She made ten. She made ten dollars. Uh. So, so throw throw that extra fifty dollars you got in your pocket into some Tesla. You'll have uh, you get a free ten dollars. That video has one point one million likes. Okay, so the choice here is spend five hundred dollars at Alta. Okay, this is a would you rather situation. Pretty fun. Um, or buy five hundred dollars of Alta stock. Let's say I get a new job and I want to buy a, a new Nissan to go to work. Why would you spend five thousand dollars on a new Nissan? when you could spend $5,000 on the Nissan stock. You see, it's totally normal to equate the stock of the company that produces the item you want to buy to just buying, the, buying an item you want to buy because that's a normal thing people do. Don't invest in groceries, my friends. Invest in grocery stock. <laughs> Yeah, the short story is to invest. Hit the plus button here. Who is this? <laughs> who is this guy? But you didn't tell me anything. You just jumped on the back of this guy who said this thing. And then I'm going to start doing that on people's YouTube videos. I'm just going to take a whole clip of their YouTube video. And then I'm going to add myself on at the end. Don't turn around, buddy. Yeah. I agree with everything those two just said. Hit that subscribe button and follow Nick is not green for more content like this. TikTok clone is called Reels and is coming out this next This happened month. in July. So, so Reels uh, is expected to come out in early August. It's going to be almost exactly like TikTok. And they already tested in Brazil, France, Germany, and so much more. With the urge of the TikTok ban and all of us in quarantine, expect the ticker FB to go up. So yeah, that was made up back in July. So I, uh, so let's say you're a TikToker, you see this TikTok, and on the same day he posts the video, July 19th, you decide, I'm gonna just buy one Facebook stock. Reels is gonna take off, I'm gonna be rich. You throw in $245. Fast forward to today, you ready to cash that baby out? Let's go, let's see how much I made. 25 bucks, I made, I made 25 bucks. Thought it was gonna be a little bit more. I was pretty, uh, the background music made me think we were going to the moon. 25 bucks is 25 bucks. You don't get a million dollar mansion without your first, without making your first 25 bucks after six months on Facebook stock. So this one's awesome right here. The five biggest companies. Yeah. Apple, 1.4 trillion dollars. That's a dollars. big company. Microsoft, Microsoft. 1.3 trillion dollars. That's a huge company. Google, 952 billion dollars. Big number. Amazon, 924 okay, what, what, billion dollars. What brings dollars. them all together? Facebook, and what, what do they all have in common? Billion. What? Oh, that was it? Hashtag how to make money. Hashtag make money. Hashtag ideas. No, that was the whole TikTok. He just uh, listed the top five companies. Top three biggest frozen pizza companies. DiGiorno, 231 million. Private Label, 131 million. Red Baron, 130 million. Hey, I think this guy is a TikToker that that has something uh, to do with stocks or like is in that in that universe. But I, it doesn't. He doesn't include any advice. I just thought this was a funny TikTok. I can't play the music because it's copyright. So. It goes on and on and TikTok on the clock. Don't stop. Remind me of everything tonight. Don't stop. And I'm gonna lose all. No, somebody that I used to know. I get a good feeling. Something about the things that we could be. We're gonna be forever. You already know. Watch. Hey man, what's up? Oh wow, uh, <laughs> are you you busy right now? Do you think you'd help me out with something? Yeah, well I'm, I'm literally in line right now to get on. It's on gonna the take plane. yeah, it take two seconds. You know, it's just sure. Right, like, why not? Let, oh what, my gosh. What do you need? God bless you. Thank you so much. You're, 
You're an angel. You're an angel, really. So, do you know that app TikTok? I'm, I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah. And you know that trend where people are in the airport, they like kneel down, like someone's about to. No, never seen. To them, never seen know? that trend. They about someone's about to run into their arms. You know, they kneel down. So then, no, you don't. Okay, well, record me walking, and then I'm gonna drop down on my knees and pretend like someone's gonna jump into my arms. I'd be. I mean, oh, you'd, you'd be fine. awesome. Just, just give me your phone. Come on. Thank you so much. Here you go. Okay, are you recording? Good, you got it framed up? Okay. Ready? You got it? Did you get it? Did you get it? Yeah, whatever. Just thanks, man. Thank you so much. Some people see gains like this and are like, oh, you started with a lot of money. Guess what, bro? I started with $500. Only five. put in more over time. And the reason why you don't have money like me is because you don't want it as bad as I do. Bro, this is my bank account. I don't eat lunch, bro. I haven't been eating lunch since 2019 because I put all my lunch money into stocks. Do not hate on me just because you are lazy, goofy. Why you call me goofy at that, man? It makes me feel bad about myself. Okay, so that's a couple. Got a couple pieces of advice here. We're kind of breaking through, I think. Step one, have your have your parents give you lunch money. So every day your parents are going to uh, give you, they're not, they're going to, they have to get, they get, they're going to give you money to eat lunch. So you're going to take their money for free. And then you're, and then step two, don't eat lunch. I mean, we, I mean, we got a great caption here. I starve today, but we'll eat tomorrow. Imagine your kid is claiming that he has $70,000 online and he's still taking like $10 a day from you to get lunch. At high school and then he ends up just and he's sitting there at the lunch table like come on Jason, eat come on seventy thousand dollars here man take a bite of my sandwich take it off i'm sorry man i'm sorry i know a lot of you guys don't like robin hood but you can't make this stuff up you do options on robin hood you only have to click a few buttons but for fidelity there's a multi-page application that takes hours to fill out and days to get accepted See you guys in 10 years when my parents finish the application. <laughs> See you guys in 10 years when my parents fill out the... Guys, this is the thing. Between Fidelity and Robinhood, there's no difference besides the fact that the Fidelity uh, form takes forever to sign. In Robinhood, you can just sign up in two seconds. Ask me why I have $80,000 in GME stock. This is all I have to show you. Always got 80k, dude. This is one of the few opportunities that we've been able to absolutely screw over Wall Street. I am willing to lose every penny because it's not about the money. It's about sending a message. Hold on, he has 80,000 in GameStop stock when when GME was at 400. Right now it's at one eighth of uh, of what it was at when he posted that video. I hope he meant it when he said he was willing to lose every penny because he lost $70,000. <laughs> I hope we learned a lot today. I put a few tips we learned from the day up on this board for my new course. Nick is not poor, so I hope you guys stick around next time when I continue to uh, leech money off of my followers. Thank you for watching this video. If you're not already subscribed, the best thing you can do for this channel is share it with someone who you think might like it. If you want to see everything else I do from TikTok to Twitch and more, the links are down below. I stream every single night, and lately we've been having a lot of people come and hanging out from the channel, so come in and say hi tonight. This week's Gamer of the Week is the trashiest trash. If you wanna be the next Gamer of the Week, just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. That's all my time for today. I'll see you next week. Um, I was about to go buy Minecraft to uh, play it on stream tonight, but I realized that instead of doing that, I should be buying Microsoft stock.